What follows those living in the light is nothing but the profound, empty darkness born from the shadow that grows longer as they approach the brilliant radiance. To truly see, your eyes must be open to both light and dark. Don't you agree, my dear child? Mummy's here! Mummy's here! Mummy! Little one. You've arrived. My dear, sweet Cereza. My, my! Why the grim face, my dear? As a child, your smile was warmer than the sun. So, you are the last of the Lumen Sages. I am indeed. My name is Balder, but if you so choose, you may address me as Father. There is much you have forgotten. It has been 500 years since we last met. If your memories were still intact, this would have been a much more emotional reconciliation. How did you get the girl? Where shall I begin? We, the Lumen Sages, and your Umbra Witches have long been the overseers of history, each bearing witness with their own eye. This is how our universes existence was preserved. However, for 500 years, you have been exiled from the world's affairs. You are the left eye of the eyes of the world. Could you dispense with the riddles and just tell me what these sodding eyes actually are? Your years of slumber have caused you to forget many things, even as we stand on the verge of the resurrection of the Creator. The resurrection of Jubileus. There is but one way to return your epic of forgotten memories and open your Eye of the Overseer. Your uncorrupted eye had to be exposed to the history it could not see. Ah. Your battles, your struggles, everything you've experienced in this town has been a stepping stone for your enlightenment. It has all been done for the left eye. I've had enough of your philosophical pretensions. I won't ask again. Where did you get the girl? <laughs> your question has been answered. All this has been done to awaken the left eye. For that, you had to see yourself once more. You are truly beyond salvation, Sage. Ah, salvation. Such a curious word. I mark the path to salvation with light. However, no matter how brilliant that light grows, the darkness within the human heart grows even darker. Light, dark, and chaos between. Three realities, once split, shall be brought together to create a new universe in the image of the old. To these ends, leading to the Festival of Resurrection 500 years ago, I fanned the flames of terror, spurring on the witch hunts. 
However, despite the people's belief in the return of Jubileus, the creator, the left eye was out of reach. Since then, I have devoted myself to this town's prosperity, and now it is time for my preparations to bear fruit. Jubileus will be resurrected. We will become the eyes of the world, and a new universe will take us. Mummy! I could never call the man behind this nightmare father. Uh, great speech, big guy. Luca. Getting a bit ahead of ourselves, aren't we, Mr. Big Shot Ithaval Executive? Salvation, light. You take this entrepreneurial philosophy a bit seriously, don't you? But it's all diarrhea of the mouth, if you ask me. History is littered with famous genocidal figures just like you. Or, should I say, infamous. Genocidal figures. You must be Luca, journalist extraordinaire. I must say, I'm truly impressed you've made it this far, child. Like father, like son, I suppose. What? Luca, Luca, Luca. Your father had problems with my philosophy. It's fine to investigate, but when malicious rumors start to spread, I must see to it that they come to a stop. For being kind enough to ascertain that my long lost razor was at the bottom of some lake, I granted him his final wish and accepted his permanent resignation. You bastard! You are of no use to me. However, I am not without dignity. I will allow you to die in the same I guess my plan has gone right out the window. <laughs> Such a shame that sacrifice had to be made. But if destiny is not fulfilled soon, this tragedy will be repeated ad nauseum. Speaking of tragedy, I suppose you've met John. While she sealed you away and kept you from trouble, after falling into our hands, she's been incredibly useful. Although her distinct lack of obedience required a bit of mental reprogramming. Her tragic end led you directly to me, just as planned. The time for awakening the left eye is soon. Fear not, my dear, sweet Cereza. Sweet Cereza, do not fear your fate. Stand tall, my child. Realize your true potential.
Gotta give you credit, Bayonetta. You never cease to impress. You haven't seen the half of it. I've seen enough. Well, that about wraps it up, huh? Not yet. No need to be afraid, little one. The nightmare is over. Everything was just a dream. You're a strong little girl. There is nothing you cannot overcome. So don't you worry anymore. You just keep your treasure safe too. Sweet dreams, little one. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other
never lose it. Understand, little one? You must keep it safe, close to your heart. I'm not afraid anymore, Mummy. No matter what, there's nothing I cannot do. And now it is done. The right eye oversees the light. The left eye oversees the darkness. Two eyes to oversee the world. It was never the woman known as Bayonetta that I set my sights upon. It was you as a child, Sir Razor, that I saw. For she was the one who saw the world through innocent eyes. And she was the one who could give rise to a new history. It was her energy that could awaken the left eye. This has all worked out splendid. Let us begin, Sereza. The time is at hand. Now, the resurrection of Jubileus shall be completed. We are the eyes overseeing the world. We are the eyes overseeing a new era, a new reality, to which we will devote ourselves eternally. Oh! 